Hi everyone, welcome back to Easy Tech Steps. Today we'll explore the differences between a local account and a Microsoft account on Windows 11. Which one is the best fit for you? First, let's talk about local accounts. This type of account can be created and used entirely offline without requiring an internet connection. A local account works similarly to how Windows accounts operated in older versions. You simply create a username and password directly on your computer. The key advantage of a local account is privacy, as none of your data is synced to the cloud. You maintain full control over your information and don't need to worry about Microsoft collecting your personal data. However, local accounts have their downsides. You can't access features that require a connection to Microsoft, such as the Microsoft Store, OneDrive, or data synchronization across devices. If you work on multiple devices or want to use cloud-based services, a local account may not meet your needs. Now, let's discuss Microsoft accounts. A Microsoft account is an online account you register with Microsoft using your email address. With a Microsoft account, you gain access to Microsoft's entire ecosystem of services, including OneDrive, the Microsoft Store, Office 365, and Xbox. Your data is synced across multiple devices, making it easy to switch between computers and work seamlessly. However, a Microsoft account also has its drawbacks. Since it's an online account, some of your personal data will be stored in the cloud, and you'll need an internet connection to fully utilize its features. This may raise privacy concerns if you're uncomfortable sharing your personal information. So, which account should you choose? It depends on your needs. If privacy is your priority and you only use your computer for basic tasks, a local account is a good option. On the other hand, if you need data synchronization and access to Microsoft services, a Microsoft account will be the better choice. I hope this video has helped you understand the differences between local and Microsoft accounts on Windows 11. If you found it useful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Easy Tech Steps, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.